Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Golf Vlogs. Today, we have a very special classic chili recipe that we're gonna make for you this evening. We have a amazing cornbread recipe that is a family tradition, Southern style cornbread. Has a little bit of ingredients that we'll talk about later. This recipe is very, very, very simple. Uh, only a few ingredients and anybody can make it. So, let's talk about the ingredients right now. So, in this recipe, we have chili powder. We have cumin, brown sugar, tomato paste, garlic, salt, and pepper. Also, we are gonna chop up and dice a medium onion, jalapeno. Uh, jalapenos are very strong, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute it up, kind of take that heat away a little bit. We also have kidney beans. We have beautiful ground beef, tomato sauce, diced petite tomatoes, olive oil, and beef broth. All right, very simple. These are all the ingredients that we're gonna make for the chili. Let's get started. All right, so very simple. We have our nice pot here into a pan, olive oil. All right, pot's about medium high heat. We're gonna add our onions. We're gonna cook these onions for about five minutes. Bring them down. Turn the heat down just a little bit. After this, we're gonna add our ground beef. We're gonna chop it up with our wooden spoon and we're gonna cook it for about five to seven minutes. All right guys, our onions look beautiful. It is now time to add our ground beef. We're gonna break it up with our wooden spoon and we're gonna bring this to a nice charred brown color. Now, use whatever kind of ground beef you like. You can use lamb if you want. You can use lamb, you can use turkey. Uh, turkey's very good as well. So this is browning up very quickly. So, we're getting ready to add all of our seasonings. We're gonna add our beef broth, our beans. But I do wanna get a nice char on this ground beef, because the more charred, the more flavor. We're gonna add chili powder. Cumin, brown sugar, tomato paste, garlic powder, salt, black pepper. We are gonna add a cup and a half of beef broth. We're gonna mix all this together. This is our ground beef, our onions, and all of our spices. Diced tomatoes. Juice and all. Add both cans. We are gonna add our kidney beans. Tomato sauce. Now, we are gonna mix all this up. Now. All right, so we have a jalapeno. I'm not gonna add this raw. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dice this up. We're gonna saute it in a skillet, a little bit of olive oil, and then we're gonna add that in. All right, guys, so our chili is working. We're gonna bring it up to a boil, uh, but we wanna add a little bit of spice to our chili. So we have a beautiful jalapeno. We're gonna chop this jalapeno up. gonna do is we have a little skillet on here heat it up a little bit of olive oil and this is a fresh jalapeno chopped up diced up and we're going to kind of cook it down a little bit I'm doing seeds and all so if you like spicy it will be spicy we are ready our chili came to a boil we turned it down to low a nice simmer we're gonna simmer for about 25 30 minutes lid off next we are getting ready to start my favorite cornbread ever. I've had cornbread a lot, different types of cornbread in different countries. This cornbread is by far the best cornbread that you will ever have in your life. And I cannot stress it enough, the best cornbread you'll ever have in your life. It is in a wrought iron skillet. 
and we're gonna add some ingredients and I'll tell you about it here in just a little bit. All right guys, it is time for the cornbread. Let me say one thing about this cornbread. It is the best cornbread that you probably have ever had in your life. It is absolutely amazing. Now, this is also Southern cornbread. What makes it Southern? It does not have sugar in it. Let's talk about the ingredients. Very, very simple cornbread. Right here, we have for you buttermilk, cornmeal mix. We have milk, vegetable oil, and one egg, and that's it. I like to start with a big bowl, mix my wet ingredients first, and then we'll add the dry ingredients. We're gonna get started by cracking one egg into the bowl. We're gonna whisk this egg up like we're making scrambled eggs. We're gonna add our milk. And our oil. So now that all of our wet ingredients are mixed up very well, we're gonna add our salt ingredients, which is the buttermilk cornmeal mix. And we mix. Now, you want your batter to be a nice, smooth, creamy batter. If it's too thick, we're gonna add a little bit, a little bit more milk. If it's too thin, we're gonna add a little bit more flour. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, it's going down. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit more buttermilk cornmeal mix, okay? Now, I feel that this is a little bit too thick, in my opinion. So I'm gonna add a little bit of milk to thin it out a little bit, because it is a little too thick, in my opinion. There we go. This is looking much better. All right, so guys, we have an oven preheated at 450 degrees. We're gonna take a wrought iron skillet, put a little bit of lard in the skillet. Uh, we're gonna put this in the oven for five minutes to heat the skillet up, heat it up. When you do that, it's gonna create that nice crisp for the cornbread. Rather than pouring the batter into a cold pan, we're gonna pour it into a nice heated pan. We're gonna put it in the oven at 450 degrees for five minutes. We're gonna get this pan nice and hot. So I have two secret ingredients that I'm gonna add to this cornbread that will make it the best cornbread you, that you have ever had in your life. I have one cup of sharp shredded cheese. And I have one fresh, very fresh jalapeno. We're gonna add it to our batter. We're gonna go ahead and mix all this up. Now, in five minutes, our pan will be nice, very hot, sizzling. We're gonna pour this batter into the pan and we're gonna cook it. We have our hot wrought iron skillet in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and pull that out. With our lard, we'll do a little towel right here. Now, when you pour your batter into the pan, it should sizzle. If it doesn't, we're shit out of luck, but it will be okay. So. That's exactly what we're looking for. 25, 30 minutes. After that, we'll check in, it should be great. All right, guys, we are ready to feast. Our chili is done. We let it simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. Our cornbread came out beautifully. All right, guys, look how beautiful this looks. I'm gonna take a little bit of Frito Chili Cheese chips. I'm gonna put them on top. Shredded cheddar cheese. A big dollop of sour cream. Chopped green onion. Parsley is gonna be absolutely great on this dish. We're gonna spr sprinkle a little bit of parsley. All right, guys, it is now time to taste this amazing dish. Let's look down here. We have our garnishes, our beautiful chili. I like to go in here and mix it all up. <laughs> Blow one, is that normal? Mm. 
my God. Wow, one more time. Hold on, that's so good. Mm. Guys, that is damn good. But wait, let me move this bowl all the way. You know why? My favorite, the Southern style cornbread with nice melted curry gold butter on top. Here we go. That is really damn fucking good. Make this dish, make this dish, make this dish. It is amazing, cornbread and chili. It is so good. Guys, I'm not lying to you. Why should I lie to you? Just make it. Guys, if you like our videos, please like, subscribe, comment, tell us your opinions. If you like us, follow us. Uh, if you follow us, we'll create more videos in the future. This right here, I'm in heaven. I'm about to go sit down and enjoy this dish. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy it. Probably pass out. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next episode.